Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Thursday, January 26, 2023. My name is Jennifer Cotton, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So welcome and hello. Thank you for being here, whether you are watching this live or on replay, YouTube or Facebook. Um, thank you very much and welcome. I've been a demonstrator for 21 years now, and this is my full-time job, and I do lives every week on Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. Although next week, I will not be live at all um, next week because I will be on my crafting cruise that we've been waiting for all year. Um, so good morning, everybody. Hello to, let me come over here on my computer. Good morning to Sue in, let me see, snow covered and slippery wing, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Wish I was going on that cruise with you. Exactly, Sue. Um, I'm trying to put, do my camera down a little so it looks less weird. Um, yes, the cruise is going to be awesome. It's actually 30 something. Let me see. 36 degrees right now in Midlothian, Texas. It's cold, but luckily we don't have winter weather. Um, good morning, Sherry. Both of you guys over on on YouTube. Um, Stella, good morning. Hey, Robin, good morning. Sunshine to you. Hope you're having a great day where you are. Let me see over here. Facebook user. Oh, that's Stella. Is that? Yes, it showed your name on one place, Stella, and not the other. But anyway, good morning. Hey, Liz, good morning. Hey, Lori in Minnesota. Thanks for sharing. Serenity in Washington, good morning. Jackie in Florida, love it. Everybody all over the place. Janet in North Carolina. Sue, I mean Sandy, sorry. The way, every time I scroll, it's like doing something weird. Um, Sandy in Mansfield, Wisconsin. Cindy, good morning, thanks for sharing. Hey, Linda in Idaho. Mar Marcella in Maryland. Sunny, have fun on your cruise. Thank you, Marcella. And um, Kelly and Jean in North Dakota. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning from snowy West Central Illinois. I'm so done with winter. I know, right? Um, I thought we were here in Texas. I thought we were done with the cold as well, but apparently not. But it kind of does. We get winter weather every time we go on this cruise. <laughs> so anyway, um, Dana, good morning. Been stamping since 4 a.m. Yes, Dana, I know your sleep schedule. Good morning, Shirley and Sandy. Do you, did you have any of the storms? Not where I live, Sandy. That's more south of where I am um, in the Houston area is where those storms were. Um, Pat, good morning. Mary Ann, good morning. Thanks for sharing, Pat. It's one degree in Minnesota. Lori, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, Kelly, good morning. Okay, so hello everybody. So I am leaving for this crafting cruise. I'm leaving my house Saturday and um, I have unpacked one thing. As you can see, all my ink pads behind me besides what I'm using today or in the cruise classes, all my punches, like I packed nothing. So I'm going to actually try to make this video faster today. We will see how that goes because y'all know I talk a lot. But, um, but thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. As a reminder, if you're watching this replay over on um, YouTube, there will be timestamps below later today where I will uh, link to different sections of the video. So I'll, you know, you can skip by clicking those links. You can skip to, um, sorry, uh, the specials, card one, card two, whatever it is. Whatever I put in there is those links. So in the description, just click more, view the entire description. You can skip to those later today. I have to add that manually. So later today in YouTube only, I will do that. And what else do I need to remind you? I'll add some links tomorrow because that's how uh, YouTube is. I can't add them until tomorrow over here. So if you see a little eye with a circle, you can click on it for some links. And as you come on this video, please 
say hi, um, make any comment you want. It doesn't matter what you say on YouTube and Facebook and on replay. And on replay, you can just type in replay, by the way. That's a great way to make a comment. Um, let me know you're watching it, but later. And uh, I will enter you to win the three cards I'm making today with the adorable Love Cats stamp set. So cute. So we're going to make three cards. And by the way, I'm offering these as a class that you can earn free from me as well. So um, I will give all that info during the video today. So that's how you get entered. Now, if you share the video, we enter you again, but you need to comment that you shared just so we literally know because the I can barely see who shares my videos. It's based on your privacy settings. And I think in YouTube, you can't see it at all. You just see, well, I don't even think you see that it was shared, but I don't know. Just tell me you did and I will believe you. And in both platforms, you just click the button that says share and do what it tells you to do. Um, and then thank you because more people will see my video and that helps my business since this is my full-time job. So commenting on the video helps me clicking the likes and the you know hearts and all the emojis helps the thumbs up. As Marcia says, there is a thumbs up in live chat over on YouTube. Um, so any of that helps me very much. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys, all my customers and, and viewers and team members, of course. Okay, so every month I do offer classes. So I will release, you know, what we're using by February 1st in my four monthly classes. But just know I do offer four monthly classes. You can take anywhere in the U.S., including, uh, or uh, I said that wrong. Anywhere in the U.S. you can take these classes. You can take the tu PDF tutorials anywhere in the world. And they're all offered to go. They're also offered in person in DeSoto, Texas. So any information you want on that, just let me know. Or just join my email newsletter in both. Up, grab it up here on Facebook. Grab it down here on YouTube in the descriptions. Um, and you can join that email list. But um, don't forget, I do have two clubs you can join. Subscription clubs, cards, and stamp uh, cards and sampler cards and sampler clubs. So if you want more info on those, let me know. I do want to mention my stamp camp with Genevieve. I'm hoping to actually design this crazy enough during the cruise, but we will see. Um, but I'm going to take the stuff with me, but we'll see. <laughs> so stamp camp with Jen and Jen. Jen lives in Canada, Genevieve Co. So if you live in Canada, you can take this class. I'll just give you Genevieve's link. And if you live in the U.S., you can take this from me. It's all online. It's to go. You will use your own stamp, stamp at home. We will have a Facebook party. We'll have PDF tutorials. We'll have games and giveaways. And you will be able to do the camp and make 10 projects with the, <laughs> I hope I wrote down the name of that bundle. Yes, Sentimental Park Bundle, because I can't, my eyes can't see it there on the screen. That top bundle, Sentimental Park. 10 projects, half designed by me, half by Genevieve, uh, a goodie bag, like almost $40 in merchandise, 10 projects, a little gift from us, all that stuff. Then you can add on these optional classes if you want. And technically, we allow you to just take a class too. So if you only want the on the farm class, you can take that. You won't have access to the camp, but you'll get the class. If you want only Genevieve's class or you only want the two classes and not the camp, you can do it all when you register. But anyway, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So Genevieve will design the playing in the rain class and I will design the on the farm class. These links have been posted already or sent out, I should say, emailed out. And they will go out again today at 1 p.m. Central for you to sign up for that. And um, I do still need to schedule my individual emails about this event just so everybody can be clear. Here's the event. Here's what it is. Click here to join. <laughs> um, and I have a note about that in my to-do list. But anyway, one moment, please. My phone is ringing. My phone, you can't see it right now, but it's hooked up to a, my camera pointing down. So hopefully I'll fix that. Um, okay, so Jen and Jen Camp, U.S. and Canada, online. You can't take the online only. It's an online class. Take it. It's all to go. Any classes, let, any classes, any questions, let me know. Let me see who's come on. 
Jean shared, thank you so much. Lori says, I enjoy your videos. Thank you very much, Lori. I appreciate that. Diana shared, good morning in North Carolina, Diana. Robin says, you better get busy packing. That's true. It's on my list today, but there's other things that actually have to happen before I can even start packing. And by the way, Robin and everybody, that doesn't count like clothes. I still haven't figured out like my personal packing in any way. But I did read my packing list last night, so that helps. Um, Serenity, seven degrees here this week. It's a little cold, but I love it. That's good that you like it, Serenity. Um, Pat, good morning. Let's see. Jean, thank you for sharing. Kathy, good morning in Minnesota. Sunny, but we're back in the deep freeze. Oh my gosh. Ramona, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Kathy, good morning. Nora, good morning. I'm glad you're glad to be here as well. Jean, 12 degrees in North in Western North Dakota. By Saturday, we won't get above zero. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what, well, I do know it's supposed to be cold and we might get wintry weather next week. Like not, I don't think it's going to be bad driving conditions, but anyway, but I won't be here. I'll be in the Caribbean. So, um, Carol in Connecticut. Good morning. Hey, Kylie. Good morning to you. And Shirley, thanks for sharing. Okay. So, um, just a quick reminder. I do in-person retreats in Temple, Texas. So contact me if you want info on those. And I do crafting cruise every year in January. So the next one is January 28th, 2024 on Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas. And it's going to be amazing. So you should join us. Hopefully everybody on this cruise will book their rooms, their cabins, because you get a special deal if you book on the ship for next year and then you won't have as much space. So go ahead and sign up now. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and point the camera down. You're going to see, like, it won't look that cute, but I've just got my Stamparatus down there and um, some stamps laying around because I'm going to stamp with Love Cats today and make three cards, which, by the way, you can get these cards, this class packet, free. This is a special separate offer from my monthly ordering special. So January 26th through February 8th, I'm running it while I'm on cruise. So it's two weeks. It ends right before the next time I will go live on February 9th. If you place an online order with this special host code, B-H-W-Q-R-F-Y-6, <laughs> um, I'll email it. I will email it out. Don't worry. Anyway, 35 or more gets you the free class to make the three cards. 50 or more gets you the free class, plus a free pack of Milky Dots, super cute new embellishment, plus a $50 sell level celebration item. And if, at $150, do not use the host code, and you will need to tell me this is the class you want free, or I will ask you if you don't tell me because I have another offer as well. Anyway, but... You'll get more perks if your order is 150 or more from Stampin' Up! without the host code. So you'll get the cards, the milky dots, more celebration items, and host benefits. At least $15 in free merchandise from Stampin' Up! So I'll mail these kits by February 20th. I'm having that coincide with my monthly mailings next month so I can throw it in if you have something else. But anyway, if not, I'll mail it separate. And this is separate from my monthly ordering special. Okay. Any questions, let me know. Hopefully it makes sense. Just get on my email list because I will be emailing that info out today at 1 as well as a few other times. So just remember the host code graphic on the screen or that number. Oh, there I am. Click the wrong button. That, um, that number on the screen right below my face right now is for the Love Cats class. If you want the other one, it's on my blog, stamptherapist.com, or just ask me. Okay, so Love Cats is an adorable set. It's red rubber. It has three different solid cats that are in super cute positions. One is hanging on a wire, basically, so that its little belly is flopped over the wire. They're all solid, like I said, so you can sample them in any color you want, but it's not going to put, like, dots or anything. There's just some little 
etched out lines on the back of each cat that will be whatever color paper is underneath will show through but it's not really like stripes or anything um the one hanging over the wire is holding a little heart by the way solid meaning no coloring needed <laughs> you don't have to color these in my favorite kind of stamping um, then there's one that looks like it's sitting on a ledge hanging its two front legs over in the tail and you don't see the back legs um, and then three little hearts coming out of its head basically and then this cutest one is like laying on its head with its legs in the air above it and the tail coming forward and a little heart wrapped around hanging off the tail on a string super cute and then three greetings i love hanging out with you head over heels about you and hi there valentine now i'm not making a valentine card today because i won't get this packet to you in time for valentine's day but if you want to order your set right now you might get it in time let me look at the calendar yeah if you order it right now you'll get it in time for valentine's because it usually takes about seven ish business business days don't count the weekend to get your order um so anyway it's super cute stamp set um one of the cards i'm also using sending support which is one of your free with a 50 dollars purchase items or choices in celebration right now so um i I'm going to jump in with card one, but uh, oh, I just got literally opened a box today in order and got a new item in. So I always show y'all when I get new stuff <laughs> and it's the Easter bunny bundle. So look at this cute Easter bunny punch, which by the way, if you want this punch, no, it's not listed as low inventory, but it's Easter. It's highly seasonal. I would order it now because we have two punches currently that are not orderable. They're coming back, but they're coming, you know, it's going to take a while. And they are the, the um, clover one. I forget the real official name and the heart one. Country. I'll find the punches here in the back. Lucky clover. You currently cannot order it and country bouquet. So any, especially the bunny, I feel it could run out again. Now, when they, they order more normally, but then they have to wait until they come in. So, anyway, Easter Bunny, super cute. Super cute. And it will punch out this bunny right here on the stamp set. Just the one. The other two are different. Okay. So, any questions, let me know. But, you know, those punches, they like to, people like to buy them is the deal. It's not that they like to sell out. People like to buy them. Okay. Um, so that's my, my story. All right. So I'm going to start with card number one, card one. Um, I'm going to use for, here's my packet, I should say. And remember, this is the class you can get free mail to your door. Okay. So I have a basic white, a basic man. I have a petal pink card base, petal pink. And trying to get the sample in front of my face here so I can remember what I did. And uh, by the way, you'll cut this yourself if you get this class for free. It's real simple. Um, I'm going to make a little cut on it real quick. So you're going to take your half sheet of petal pink cardstock, which is five and a half inches by eight and a half. We will cut that for you. And you're going to fold it in half with your bone folder get a nice crisp fold in the middle and then um, we're going to cut half of the front off so that will be two and one eighths of an inch so you will do this at home that'll just help us cut it faster since this is an extra class packet I'm throwing in at the last minute here so two and a half or two and now I just messed myself up two and one eighth it's half of four and a fourth, two and one eighths inches. Of course, you'll get a PDF tutorial if you earn this class for free. So you cut off half. And we don't need this for any other cards. So that'll be a little bonus piece of paper you get to keep at home. <laughs> and, um, and this is our card base now. It's going to be a landscape card. So the top is short. And then here's the other pieces. Of course, we'll put them in a clear envelope like always. There's going to be some sequins in there, a little die-cut heart, and everything else you need for this card. 
course, I will probably lose the sequins while I'm making this video. In fact, I should just leave them in the envelope to maybe not lose them. Okay. So we have, uh, let me do it this way. We have a basic white four by five and a fourth, but all the measurements are going to be over on my blog today at 11 a.m. stamptherapist.com. And you will be able to go there and download the recipe card, just view the measurements, view the entire supply list and all that as well. So just, um, I may not say all the measurements today, but that's four by five and a fourth. That's going to go on the inside. Then, of course, I'm using this gorgeous designer paper that's so cute, that's free with a purchase right now. This is the Dandy Designs 12 by 12 designer paper. You get 48 sheets free with a $100 purchase. And there's, all, of course, tons of cute patterns, stripes, dots, lines, grids, flowers. So cute. Um, I know you've seen it before on my videos anyway. But that is what I'm using here. So I've got this image with the rounded squares and the little dots in between and fresh freesia and petal pink. And I think the dots are melon, uh, mango melody. Anyway, it is cut to go on that top flap. And then I have a little strip, like a half inch strip of this same, uh, same pack of designer paper, different design. It's the petal pink design with the little sort of X's. It depends on how you look at it. I looked at it just now and saw squares, but little pink X's all over it, thick, fat X's. And that's going to go at the very bottom of my white piece on the inside. So it's going to be something like that when I put it together. And then I have a scrap of basic white for our cat or for one of our cats. And then I have a pre die cut petal pink scalloped label. So that, of course, is scalloped contours dies. Love these dies. If you don't have them, you definitely need them. This is the third from the largest. And I pre die cut it. Of course, you can die cut that over on your mini stamp and cut and emboss machine that you can get free right now with your starter kit purchase. Only $129 for 175 in merchandise plus that machine in white or blue. Or if you don't want the machine, just pay $99. You get 175 in anything you want, and that is only until February 28th. Same with all the free with a $50 and $100 purchase stuff. Okay, so I have my scallop. We'll cut it for you. And then to go on top of the scallop, we'll pre-cut a stitched rectangle or rectangle stitch dies, whichever name is currently the one because it's changed before. But anyway, these rectangle stitched dies. Um... You get a ton of rectangles in this. And so this one is this size. I don't know which one it is, but it's about two and a it's about two and a fourth by three and a half ish. <gasps> My phone folder just fell off the back of the table. Anyway, when you put it on, it covers up the stitching in the scallop, but it has its own stitching, so it's perfect. And then a scrap of white, and then this heart I'm actually using on all three cards. Because for me, I don't know why, I designed a separate class with these cats for my team. And I just love to cover up the stamped heart on the two cats that have that in their little paws or hanging from the tail with this stitched heart from Give It a Whirl dies. So it's a, there's a few, there's like three different stitched hearts in Give It a Whirl. And the smallest one fits perfectly on top of the stamped heart. And I just think it looks so cute. So I'm using that on all three cards. <laughs> I think on all three. Anyway, we'll see when I get there. Okay, so for my stamping, I'm going to stamp a couple of cats. Now, these cats are super solid. You know, a big chunk. They are red rubber. A big chunk of red rubber ink. I mean, red rubber, not ink. Just a big chunk of red rubber. And so sometimes to get a solid image on that, it's easier to use your stamp apparatus, which is our stamp positioning tool. It's amazing. I have it set up for red rubber, which is without the extra foam that it comes with. But I do have three or four sheets of... Sorry. Oh, I'm confusing myself. 
I'm pretty sure I used all of these from this right side. It just depends how you set it up when you're going to use it. You can use it any direction you want, but anyway, I'm trying to confuse myself here. Okay, uh, I have three or four sheets of this grid paper that you can purchase for the Stamparatus, which also is just awesome grid paper, by the way. A whole little stack of it. Um, and then I've figured out, you can kind of see I have some markings on this paper. I've, I basically, for this, um, I, lay, I place the cats on my uh, plate and then I closed it and figured out where I needed the paper. Then I marked it. I hope this makes sense. Okay, so this cat or this rectangle, I have corners marked here. Basically, you figure it out before you start stamping <laughs> and then you um, are ready to go. So do it with a scrap or whatever. And I actually want on this card, this cat that is laying on its head basically with its little tail to the side and see, I'm gonna stamp the cat over here on the left side of this uh, rectangle. Just need a scrap paper to lay this on. So I didn't clean these off. Okay, and I'm going to use Smoky Slate ink for this cat. So you can make your cats any color you want. And I've secured the paper down with the magnet because I definitely am going to want to stamp it a couple of times at least. I'm going to tap my ink pad on here. And just like normal stamping, you don't need to tap it so hard that you get ink all over your plate. That's not necessary. You'll get a better inking if you don't press so hard. But the good thing about Stamparatus is you can stamp it again and again and again as long as your paper doesn't slide. So these magnets come with the thing. The two plates come with it. You can put the plates on the top and side. You can use both sides of the plate. It's amazing. So I'm just going to re-ink that and, and stamp it again. Uh, again, Smoky Slate. And I have found that the um, with this smoky slate, I only need to do it a couple of times. So there's a weird thing in this tail. By the way, I will be, I think I said this, but I will be giving these cards away that I'm making today as well. So make sure you comment for that opportunity as well. Okay, so that looks good. Super cute, little cat in gray. And then the other scrap is for this cat, the one that's sitting on the ledge, but it is just a scrap. I'm going to cut the cat out. I don't even need the hearts on top, but I do need the full tail. So do you see how I'm just fig figuring out where this paper needs to go since it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be straight. <clears throat> and same color because I want the card to match. <laughs> so you could do different color cats, but I want my card to match. So I placed my magnet in a bad spot there. Hopefully I'm making sense about this apparatus. I usually give a lot more details, but I'm just going kind of quick today to get to my other to-do list. <laughs> it's perfect. Again, I don't need the hearts on top. They happen to fit, but I'm just going to cut this cat out. And then I'm going to look real quick. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and clean this gray cat or this um, upside down cat because I'm going to use it in black on another card. So I'll take my chamois out and just... Gently wipe that off for later. Okay. Uh, by the way, just a side note, never put both plates on here and close it because the top one, the whichever one is on top, won't close all the way and it'll bend your the this part of the stamparatus. It will bend it and ruin it. So don't close them both at the same time. What I actually could do is just throw some scratch paper there and stack it like that when I'm not using it. Okay, let me hand cut this cat out. I think I do need to stamp one more thing. So this card uses Smoky Slate and Petal Pink. And I'm going to stamp my greeting, which is going to say, which I think is so cute, I love hanging out with you. 
down here in the bottom right hand corner of the rectangle with the cat it's upside down by the way this little heart is going to go right there so you see what i mean there's nothing wrong with the stamped heart but i like this better so side note okay so now i need to cut my cat out at my readers check your comments while i grab that good morning julie i'll see you soon let me scroll up here cindy thanks for sharing hey linda in mansfield gn good morning thanks for sharing julie thanks for sharing terry a good day to craft texas freezing and sunny but no snow um ooh, Ju uh, Lori says she'll be in galveston for a wedding in february it might be cold there then too <laughs> but it'll be nice of course um let me see facebook user in charlotte let's see over here terry good morning Catherine, good morning Just trying to go back deborah good morning good to see you sent you an email this morning deborah <laughs> in case you missed it i was checking the facebook group to see if you were in yet um we're doing our paper share party this weekend also. I, I am crazy. And I'm getting, Landa's helping me finish the wonderful world-class packets. Like, they're done, but package it all up to mail to um, this weekend. But she's going to help me package it. Well, this weekend is tomorrow. But anyway, she is going to help me package it all up today in addition, in addition to my team incentive. And the cruise, but anyway. Um, okay, Pam, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Peggy, hello. Marsha coming from Fondu. Is it Fondu Lake or Fondu Lock, Wisconsin? GN, this cat is one of my favorite sets. I love it, GN. Your to to-do list for the cruise. It's crazy. The list is crazy. I mean. Um, Chris, good morning. Thanks for sharing. It will be warmer than Minnesota, Lori says. What type of shampoo are you using to clean your stamps? Uh, chamois. Oh, <laughs> that, I'm glad I read your second comment, Marcella. Um, the chamois is in our catalog, and so it's kind of thick, like spongy, and it's called like the Simply Chamois. And so it's a Stampin' Up product, and it... Um, you just wet it and squeeze the water out. Let me get this smooth cut started. Wet it, squeeze the water out, and then clean, clean, clean. And then when it gets really full of ink, go um, take it to the sink again and rinse it out in hot water and squeeze until it runs clear. Uh, you can use both sides. It does stain. And do not store it in a sealed bag because it'll get moldy. But so I store it in this, like we sell these stamp cases separately. You can get four for like six bucks. Uh, or you can store it in anything you want, just but this is not airtight. So something not airtight. And then when you're not using it, it will dry out, which is perfectly fine. So I have not these never, but some of my chamois, because I have a bunch, if I don't use them for a while, they dry out. And they're hard as a rock and you just take it to the sink and reanimate it with water. Um, I do want to note I'm cutting off the shelf. So just cut that off basically. And over here there's a tiny bit of shelf on the left side next to the paw. And I just, ugh, I want to drop it in the wet chamois. I will cut that off as well. And then the hearts will get cut off for this card. Okay, <laughs> can't think of anything else to say right now while I'm cutting. So we'll just cut, have a moment of zen. <laughs> you can get as detail as you want on the whiskers. I didn't get crazy detail. I just kind of made little curves around them, but I didn't go all the way down in there. There we go. Cute cat. Okay. Take a 
the pieces. All right, so I have all my pieces. Um, I think I will attach these parts to my card first. So stamp and seal, my favorite. I will attach the designer paper strip to the top of the card. You don't need a ton of stamp and seal. It's very strong. And this is thin designer paper, so even less. And then I'm not going to stamp on the inside part. I was going to, but I couldn't make it. I mean, obviously, I could put a green. Other than that, I couldn't figure anything out. So I just decided to put that strip of designer paper instead. So we're going to go with that. Grab my this thing, silicone craft sheet to protect my surface since this is a skinny piece of paper I'm putting adhesive on and just uh, add that strip down at the bottom. So there's that. And then let me build my rectangle here. So I'm going to attach the stamped die cut rectangle flat to the die cut scalloped rectangle. <laughs> that. Uh, I'll just throw this heart on here with a Stampin' Dimensional. Of course, I love to use this mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I pretty much only use those now, which that's just preference. Not doesn't matter which ones you use. If you use the big ones, you can just cut them down. I like the minis, though, because I think they're more economical. You get $720 for the same price, $4.25, as the large ones, which is three. I mean, yeah, 300 Anyway, yeah, 300 big ones, which is this size. But you can cut them in half, and then you have 600. I like 720. <laughs> and I just use them for everything. Okay, enough about my personal preferences. Okay, now I'm going to attach my rectangle. Um, in the center here, across the front, and but only glue it to the top portion there. And I want it lower instead of just centering it top to bottom. I want it lower because I just want to cover up this white background. Mainly, well, it will look better because of where we're going to put the cap. But um, also it gives you more room to write under there and it won't show on the front. So to do that, I want to flip it over left to right get this scallop where I want at the bottom. And now I have a visual line to tell me where to place the adhesive basically. And I am attaching this flat. I normally use dimensionals here if you've seen my videos before. So I'm doing it flat on purpose so that I can use dimensionals on this cap. And this again, stamp and seal is really strong. So it'll be strong enough to hold this together. So there's that. And then we'll add our little cat that we can cut out, the one sitting on the ledge. So cute. Even though these are like cartoon cats, they're so realistic in the positions they put them, <laughs> they drew them in. So I just put the cat up there at the top right edge of the rectangle, covered up all the, the stitch marks on purpose. Super cute. Then... I did forget to say this at the beginning, but in your packet, we will put the ribbon you need. I just didn't pre-cut it for my video due to time, basically. But when we make the packets, we'll cut the ribbon. So we're going to have a bow on this card and those sequins, which I kept right in here for safekeeping. That's what you can do as well. <laughs> Tip. Um, let me just add the sequins now before I lose them. I'll use my take your pick tool. Uh, these are the adhesive back pastel sequins that I'm using here. So pretty. I love these. You get a full sheet of small and a full sheet of large. They're in our mini catalog right now. Uh, so I'm going to take a large sequin and place it down here on the bottom right. It's supposed to be um, petal pink, by the way, that sequin. I think it's it matches, but it also is... It's iridescent, so it sometimes looks purple instead. But anyway, um, and then a couple of small ones up here on the top left of the rectangle. Uh, 
I was going to say something else about the sequins, but I don't know. Anyway, there's those. And then the bow will be pale papaya open weave ribbon. I'm going to make two bunny. I'm going to make a bunny ear bow. So I have two bunny ears, lots of space in between the two bunny ears. Each ear is in a separate um, hand. And where I'm holding them, all my fingers are pointing at me. So there's no twisting and turning. This is going to make your bow not as cute. Keep If I let this go, the ribbon is completely flat. And that's what you want. Okay. And then uh, take the right ear, go over left. And then push that right one down into the rabbit hole. And you get a bow that looks something like that. And you fix it. <laughs> You can make these, of course, any bows you make. You can make them as small as you want because you just keep pulling and pulling. But I don't want this super tiny. But if you did need a small bow, that's people. A lot of people think a small bow is difficult, but it's not. You just hold the center and keep pulling, pulling, tighten, pull, pull, tighten. Anyway, that's an unnecessary side note. Trim that off. No waste on this side. But, of course, I'll be giving you guys just a piece to use. And the reason I'm giving you milky dots with this class, if your order is 50 or more, is because I'm giving the sequins with my other monthly ordering special. <laughs> so I'm using the sequins, but I'm giving you milky dots for free. And they're the milky dots are awesome. So you'll love those as well. Okay, mini glue dot. Let's see how everybody's doing here. Thank you, guys. Hey, Barbara, good morning. Uh, Julie says, I love that DSP that you used. Yes. Hey, Landa, good morning. See you in a little while. Kathy. Oh, she's talking to Pam. Yes. Della, good morning in North Dakota. I'm going to glue dot this on. Um, Della, thanks for sharing. I love this cat, Sam. So cute. Uh, very cute card to show them off. Thank you, Linda. So glad you're using it. Oh, Pat, I'm surprised you haven't used yours yet. You're always... Better than me at playing with your new stuff. That gets right on it. Okay, so I just put the bow in the bottom left corner of the rectangle. And that's our finished card. I love it. <laughs> I don't know about you. I just love this card. I love the cats in gray. It's so cute. I love hanging out with you. So that's one of the cards you can win today. Uh, or just get this class for free with a $35 online order with that host code. Um, and don't forget if you want that bunny punch, like it's just a Jennifer, I could be wrong. It might never sell out, but <laughs> what if it does? Okay. Card number two, card two, where's my paper right here. Here are all my pieces. And I have a, this is like a side note in here. That's not actually part of my original design, but anyway, card two. Okay. So for this one. We have a basic white card base. I'm going to have to grab a different bone folder since I dropped that one. Fold this in half. And this will be a portrait, you know, direction card. Um, and then, so these pieces, I put this in here to remind me to show you that option. But I actually did not end up putting a greeting on this card. Okay, so we have three sequins in there, just like before, same ones. A purple pre die cut heart from the Give It a World Eyes. Put those sequins in there. And then um, two labeled dies pre die cut, basic white, fresh freesia. And those are the. What is it? Oh, am I not? Um, oh, I do. I was like, maybe I've packed them already. Something Fancy dies, even though I packed nothing. I was thinking organizing. Anyway, Something Fancy dies. They're brand new in this mini catalog. You need them for sure. There is a great stamp set they're bundled with called Something Fancy. It's all words, but even if you just get the dies. Um, so you can see the, the ones I used are sort of like a tag shape. It's like a rectangle with a fancy topper. And um, there's two sizes, so they layer just like that. and they also have these little holes you can die cut in the at the same time if you want holes in there. I did not for mine. Super cute. And then there's two other shapes of labels plus the the half inch diagonals. It's they're just amazing. Okay, and then this card. 
Oh, sorry. Back to the pieces. So we have a basic white piece that's an em been embossed with the cane weave embossing folder. An amazing new embossing folder. Definitely a nice basic to have that's just going to match a bunch of stuff. So get that one. And then some strips here of Fresh Freesia that will have a strip of the designer paper on it, the white with the little dots all over it in Mango Melody, Fresh Freesia, and Petal Pink. And then another smaller strip of basic uh, of Fresh Freesia cardstock that will have a Fresh Freesia designer paper, the plaid on top. This is all from Dandy Designs. Um, measurements on the blog, 11 a.m. And then the pre die cut Fresh Freesia heart, same heart as the last card, and the two tags. Okay, so the only stamping I need to do on this card is the cat on this tag. So let me grab my Stamparatus. I'm using Memento Black, which is, unless you have a brand new pad, it can be a little more challenging to get a solid image in the first stamping with Memento Black. Um, you definitely want to re-ink your pad if you're having trouble, but the newer the pad, the better. And they're only $6. They're te temporarily not orderable. Memento Black ink pad, this one here. But uh, I love this black. When you're not stamping such a solid, solid image, it's um, it works amazing. Like, it looks so good. It's crisp, black, blah, blah. Anyway, I just love Memento. Um, and I get a new one about every year. I now write the date when I got it. <laughs> but anyway, it's just because this cat's so solid. Your Stamparatus is going to be your friend. And in case you didn't see it, I explained all this before the first card. I have marked on there where this tag goes. And it should put my cat right where I want it. All right, so let's ink her up. You can press harder with Memento. It's not a foam pad. So you can twist. I know that's hanging off the screen. But you can twist and, and tap. I'll let you see my inking there. And then just press. And still, even on Stamparatus, don't press crazy hard. Because you can ink it again. And you're going to like blur that thin line image if you press crazy hard. The cat's hanging off the edge a little bit. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to do it. I think it's just going to take one more stamping. Yes. Beautiful. So good. So good. So this is a black cat. This is yucky. In case you remember my old cat that lives somewhere else now. <laughs> Not by my choice. <laughs> this is yucky. I think our last that is black as well, yes. Okay, so let's put this card together and I'll tell you about the optional greeting choice you could make. Um, I am on this one using Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. Side note there. Okay, so with dimensionals, I'm going to attach the white tag that I just stamped. Uh, I might do five dimensionals on there. I'm going to uh, attach that to the, of course, Fresh Freesia tag that it mats on. Then let me assemble the front here. I'll just go ahead and place the basic white that's been embossed with cane weave embossing folder to the front. White on white there. And then my next layer will be this Fresh Freesia strip that has a layer of the Dandy Designs designer paper on top. Do notice it's a thin border I made with the designer paper and Freesia on both of them. I'm going to add a little more adhesive than normal because this cane weave is so detailed, like it's so deeply embossed that you do want to make sure your stuff sticks well. So I'll place that sort of wide strip over on, here on the left, up and down. And then this smaller strip of DSP with Freesia, by the way, notice where I cut my heart from. Saving paper. Could have cut it from the tag as well. Um, same border on this one. Of course, we'll pre-cut all this for you when you get the free class packet. 
um, anyway, I attach those together and this goes across the bottom here. So not all the way to the bottom though, about I'm eyeballing this, that might be a little higher than my original, but just so you have a reference, that's a, like seven, two, four, six, yeah, seven eighths from the bottom ish, from the very bottom, and then just centered across the front. <laughs> it's playing a trick on my eye, it feels like it's crooked. Okay. Then I will attach the Fresh Freesia tag flat right in where these cross each other, where these two designer papers cross, um, more to the right and more down on the designer paper, more to the right off the designer paper, more down on the bottom one. Okay. Pretty, pretty fast here. <laughs> Let's make a bow. You've already seen me do this, so I won't do all the explanation. Let's go back to card one if you need to. I'll have those timestamps on there later. I'm trying to look at comments, but I think I need to use my hand to scroll. Let me see here, Facebook. Rhonda, good morning. Yeah, any cat people I think need this stamp, but also you don't have to be a cat person to think it's super cute. And even like I would not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a cat person to give the card to. I think anybody would think it's cute unless they just literally hate cats. <laughs> then maybe not. Okay, so Fresh Freesia Bow. That's going to go at the top of my tag. Fold that paper back, make it flat. It works perfect. Press as hard as you want and pick it up. No difficulty there on the glue dots. Uh, dimensional on my heart. And then I have those sequins. So cute. And then the sequins, it's the same as exact ones I used on the last card. One large, two small. Same color, petal pink. See, these are petal pink, but they're going to pick up that purple tint. Um, that's, there's a lot of purple on this card. Okay, so a couple of small ones up here on the top right. Mm -hmm. And then a large one down here on the, to the bottom, on, on the bottom to the left of the tag, outside of the tag. And so that is the card I made. Super cute. Hope you guys like it. Thanks, Ramona. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> I know Liz is like so glad you got a kitten. Me too, Liz. Although that kitten was acting crazy in here earlier. She calmed down just in time for the video. She's gotten wild where she jumps on everything and all that, but she's amazing. Um, thank you, Linda. Thanks, Ramona. Thanks, Tommy and Linda. Another Linda. And Jean, thank you so much. Okay, so when I was literally, I take these over to my computer and start typing the blog post and all that. I was like, oh, I forgot to put a greeting on this one. And then I looked and looked and I thought, well, it really looks fine without a greeting. You can put anything you want on the inside or add a greeting later. But then I thought I would test it. And I, and I had already taken my photos and my helper had watermarked them and everything. So I was like, well, it's too late. But I tried this out and it looks kind of cute. So this is just an idea to give you head over heels about you, which of course goes great with this image. Try to flip this over with no nails. So you can just cut up those words head over heels about you. I just stamped them on white and cut them out all individually. And you could, you know, of course, on dimensionals, I'm not going to glue this down because whoever wins this card might not want it. I don't know. Anyway, head over heels on the left. And then I think I said, took a picture of what I did. But I can't look at it because it's on my phone. Maybe something like that. So head over heels over here on the left and about you down below, below to the right. There's an idea for you. Kitty needs big green eyes and then he would look like my kitty cat. I guess maybe that is where you can color the eyes. I hadn't thought of that. So 
there you go. There's an idea for a greeting that I didn't do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this one in for the prize because the bow looks so much prettier. And um, so make sure you comment, even on replay. You can just type in replay. It's fine. Whatever you want to do. Okay, card number three, our last one for today. Look at what time it is. This is crazy. <laughs> but um, I wish y'all missed it. I'm rushing a little bit because of my big to-do list. Okay, so basic white card base. Let me go ahead and fold that. And this is um, going, going to be a landscape card. This is my bone folder, of course. And then the pieces in here are... granny apple green on the base and then a piece of the granny apple green dandy designs designer paper it's the one with the little small x pattern all over it so it's green and white and that will that's a large piece as well again the measurements are over on the blog then to to layer right on top of that is a piece of coastal cabana cardstock that's a little smaller like just for frame of reference for my Visual customers three and one eighth by four and three eighths on the coastal. And then the designer paper to go on top of it is the one that's white background, solid, slightly larger polka dots on top that are Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, and Fresh Freesia. And that piece is going to go right in the middle of this card. Then I have a white uh, pre die cut stylish shape circle and that is the largest one in stylish shapes which are temporarily not orderable these dies but they're coming back don't worry and it's the largest circle and um i'm gonna stamp a cat on there and then i have just a scrap strip of like a half inch white so your strip might not be this long but you will have a scrap of basic white for if you get the class packet post code right there 35 dollar order blah 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 um, so you'll have that, which I'll stamp my greeting on. And then this, of course, pre die cut heart in granny apple green from the same heart as the card number one. Okay, so um, let me do my cat first. So this one. Is the cat that's hanging on a string or a wire or whatever that clothesline, whatever this cat is hanging on. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but, um, and then it's going to be stamped in black on this circle. So as you can see, I've sort of outlined the edges of the circle pre, you know, measured all this. I think, I think I can put the magnets top and bottom. Scooch it. I'm looking at the wrong marking. I was I was seeing the edge of that stamped cat and thinking it was my marking. The other cat, anyway. That's better. Okay, so memento black, same as before. You can, you can twist, but if you twist, always tap last and don't twist the foam pads. That's not good. Only twist memento or stays on. So hopefully you're seeing how you can use all the sides of the plate. Like I could even have more stamps on here um, at different spots. And I knew I didn't <laughs> ink or press that very hard. But again, don't press when you're pushing it down. Don't press crazy hard because you can blur these string lines. Oh, so much better, but I'm going to give it one more time. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus, which a lot of people use for everything they stamp. Like all your stamping is done on Stamparatus. One of my helpers, well, cust uh, not customer, she's a team, but I don't know if you want to call her a helper. She does demonstrations for me all the time. She loves the Stamparatus and pretty much uses it all the time. Super cute. Okay, so this one's black as well, so it's also yucky. 
that's the name of the cat. It's not yucky. <laughs> like it's not gross. Anyway, okay. Um, my piece is back. Okay, for the greeting on this one, I am using uh, Sending Support. The stamp set's free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Spend 100 pick two gifts. We have a ton of gifts to choose from. Uh, spend 150 pick three, or choose 101 and a 50 one. Like, it's no limitations. You can get as many of one free item as you want, but the deadline is February 28th. And Sending Support is a stamp set that is um, like thinking of you type stamps. So like some days are harder than others. Sending loving thoughts and prayers. Hope today is one of the easier ones. There are so many ways you might feel right now. Alone shouldn't be one of them. Here for you always. Good luck. It's okay not to feel okay. You've got this. My shoulder is yours and courage is being really scared and doing it anyway. So it's a great stamp set. Stamp set. And um, it's red rubber. And it's free. <laughs> so let me get my, yeah, just a reminder in case anybody hasn't been with Stampin' Up, hasn't um, looked at anything Stampin' Up in the last two months. <laughs> it's Celebration. And that's where that stamp set is located. But when you place that order, you have lots of choices besides that one stamp set to get free with purchase, either 50 or 100. Again, no limit. Um, we also have a host special, $300 orders, get this bonus stamp set, and a join special that I mentioned earlier. You can get for $99, $175 of your choice, which is incredible deal. Normally, you only get $125. That's $50 more dollars free. And no tax, I mean, no shipping, just tax only. And then you can get this mini machine for $129 and $175 of your choice. So those are all in February 28th. And of course, you'll get to join my team if you get the starter kit. You don't have to do anything, but you can join the team or you will. I mean, you literally don't ever have to speak to the team or do anything about it. But <laughs> you'll have access to all of my perks as well. Okay. So I have this half inch strip. It might be a little wider. It's just like scraps we grab out of the our leftover bucket, um, but it's fine. And so I'm going to stamp, ignore my writing on here. I just haven't cleaned these off. Some days are harder than others. Just not all the way to the edge in granny apple green. And then hope today is one of the easier ones. Just leaving some space in between those. Uh, by the way, tap, tap, tap very gently. Stamp it straight down. You can barely rock it because it's so thin. Barely rock it left or top to bottom. That's it. And don't press hard. Let me show you what happens if you press hard. It looks like this. Instead of this. <laughs> so, that's why. Okay. And then... I use these. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I'm just going to cut these ends at an angle. I half the time forget about this, but it's so much easier than cutting a banner, and it's very popular right now. So you just literally cut it, you know, one end to the other at an angle, and uh, you have a cute, you know, design to your greeting, and yeah, it's good to go. All right, so let's put this one together. Now, I do, again, you're going to get ribbon on this one as well. It's going to be the Parakeet Party Metallic Woven Ribbon Parakeet Party, which matches Granny Apple Green pretty well. I'm going to roll this back up a little bit. And so I'll have a bow with that. Okay, so let me put this together. Let's see how y'all are doing. Hey, Marsha, good morning in Texas. Um... Marsha, other Marsha, glad you like this card. <laughs> Jigan came in late, but have you tried stamping the cat in Night of Navy? It looks like black and only have to stamp once. I have not, Jigan. So good tip. <laughs> um, yeah, our foam pads, you can really ink those. Just as a side note, what Jigan's saying, you can ink them well, and then you can get 
an even solid covering on these super solid stamps. This is like our old ink pads, which is a linen. And it works fine if you know all the tricks, but that's why we switched to the foam because you can soak up so much more ink by inking, having it inked up well and then gently tapping your stamp all over. So that's what GN's saying with Night of Navy. So great tip there. Um, that, anyway, that's just like me going on about how much I love our foam ink pads. You just can't press hard on them if you want a good stamped image. Okay, so I'll attach this to my the front of my card base and then do the second layer of designer paper on top of the Coastal Cabana. And this one I did, it. this layer I did attach with Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to use um, about nine on this one for me. And that goes right in the center. And then the cat, the circle, will be flat. Up here on the top left, I'm going to have the top and left hanging over my rectangle a little bit. And then both greetings will be on dimensionals. And the heart will be on a dimensional. I'm going to use three on each uh, greeting just because it's kind of long. And then put it together. Got a little dot of black <laughs> I keep trying to wipe away um, on this card, but anyway, whatever. It's fine. Okay, so the some days are harder than other goes across the top, across the circle at the top of the cat's back, and then hope today is one of the easier ones will be down here on the left coming out of the circle within the designer paper. And then uh, our bow, it's the same as before, but I'm going to do a double bow. So you'll get a longer piece of ribbon. And my instructions on the written will say fold it in half and then cut it in half and tie a bow. But I'm not going to cut mine yet because I'm using, actually, hold on. I'm using um, it from the roll. I don't make a bunny ear when it's super thin. I just do a normal bow. For me, it's easier, but whatever works for you. Anyway, the instructions will say fold it in half and then tie it in half. I'm going to just go a little bigger. So, because you're not getting a, an entire roll of ribbon. Fold it in half, cut it in half. So it's a double bow. I like to do double with this metallic, usually, sometimes not, but usually because of the um, because it's thin. Okay, so glue dot. So I want to remind you, this class, this whole set of three cards, you can get free from me, mailed to you by, I believe, February 20th. Um, here's the last card. I just think that cat looks so, like, it, it can look like it's having fun or a little bit deflated, and so I think it goes well with that saying. Um, so there is that last card. I'm trying to read here. Thank you, Linda. Says loved all the cards from today. Here's Marsha's reminder. Don't forget to give a thumbs up next to the live chat. Thank you, Marsha. Pamela, good morning, Snowy Kansas. Pat, good tip. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Cindy. And Marsha says like the ribbon. Um, so these are the cards from today that you can win by commenting on the video, even on replay. So please feel free to do that. Um, 
They are also a class packet I'm offering right now with this host code only from today through February 8th. So two weeks, you uh, place a $35 order. You'll get the class packet mailed by approximately February 20th. Just real quick, I'll put this up here so I'll remember everything. Let me move this thing. Um, $35 or more with that host code. 50 or more gets you the free milky dots and a celebration item and the kit. 150 or more gets you all that extra celebration and host benefits. So don't use the host code. And I'll send the kits by approximately February 20th. So um, anyway, yeah, that's it. And any questions on that, let me know, though. This email will go out at 1 o'clock today with a recap, a link to the video, and info about this special. And if you have any questions, let me know. You can also go to my blog at 11 a.m. Central, and I will um, have these recipe cards there for you that you can use to print off and refer back to. You have your measurements here and the supplies used. Also, always, if you ever see an error on those, please feel free to let me know so I can correct it. And then when you download it again, it'll be fixed. Um, the recipe cards are from My Stampin' Stuff, which is an inventory website that's available to you if you live in the U.S. for all of your Stampin' Up! merchandise. You can inventory it, make lists. It's amazing. You can search. It's searchable by keywords. So cat, dog, heart, rectangle, label, etc. We label, we uh, tag all the stamps and most of the dies with these kind of tags so you, they're searchable so you can find what you need it's current or all anyway it's amazing but that's a side note um so recipe cards the point is you can view them on the blog or print them off if you want and let me check you guys comments pat thank you so much thanks marcia marcia oh yes i saw that jean Love the, love the colors on the last card. I do too, Jean. I love it. And of course, I picked those up just from the designer paper. But Granny Apple Green with Coastal Cabana. And then that gorgeous pop of bright, bright green ribbon. I agree. Love it. Jean, thank you. Sherry, thank you. She says, have a fun cruise. We will. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susie. Thanks, Marsha. Um, I'm trying to scroll. It always messes me up. Thanks, Lori. My, thank you, Marsha. Like the cards. Um, hard to pick which is your favorite. I love that. That's a good problem. Thanks, Julie. Thank you, Linda. Um, Julie, do you have P the PDF for projects on cruise? Uh, go over to the group. Like, we'll update you in the group on that, Julie. And I did mean to say, though, I'm glad she said the word PDF, that if you want written step-by-step -step instructions, that's free with your order as well. So I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> my Stampin' Stuff is the best. Thank you, Ro. Thanks, Ro. Um, Ro's one of my new stamping buddies who's going to talk to my team. Sorry if I <laughs> make you nervous there, but um, she's, she's an awesome demonstrator, I know. Um, let me see. Facebook user. Rhonda, thank you. We will have fun. Kylie, thanks so much. Linda, thank you. All right. Well, everyone, have a great next two weeks because that's when I will see you here on Facebook again, unless I'll see you on the cruise because um, I can't go live from the ship. It's too uh, sketchy because technically I will have Wi-Fi. Y'all can still email me, text me, ask me all those questions. You can um, message me on Facebook, everything while I'm gone. No problem. And I can put in orders. I can help you, all that. But I'm scared to do a live. <laughs> so I'm not going to go live. But the following week, I'll be back live, assuming no issues, at 9 a.m. Central on February 9th. So I'll see you in two weeks. Um, thanks, Kylie. Thanks, Marsha. Um, who else? I know Kylie says, wish I was there. Definitely. Sandy, thank you. Ro, Ro thank you. Cindy, thanks. Awesome. Well, everyone have a great time. I will see you later. Bye.